Today, I want to speak to us on cast your burdens on the Lord. Our text is Psalm 55 verse 22. Psalm 55 verse 22. It says, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. And he shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Let's look at the background of the psalm and this text. The psalmist is saying, Give ear to my prayer and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I am restless in my complaint and moan noisily. My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And the psalmist said, So said I, O oh, that I may have wings like a dove. I would fly far away and be at rest. I would wander off and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest that I am in. And the psalmist is saying he just wished he could be so far away from the many struggles and the problems and the treachery of enemies. We face our own windy storms and tempests in life in our family crisis and situations, in our socio-economic and political frustrations, in our own spiritual life. We're not too sure, we're uncertain, we ask where God is, and how long will he allow so many things to happen. Physically, many are ill and want healing to their bodies. They're going through many crises. I don't know what crisis you might be facing today or the situation that you are in. You may be concerned about the world and the crisis we are facing medically, politically, economically. But in the midst of all the frustrations and crisis, the psalmist with hope and confidence in God's word can say, as for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. This is the confidence and the hope of the psalmist. And he's passing it on to us today, that in the midst of all our frustrations, and struggles and trials and conflicts, the psalmist is saying, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. Yes, we can call upon God today and he shall save us. He will give us the peace and the strength to face each turbulent storms we might be going through. He will hear my cry and he will hear my voice. And then the psalmist brings us to our text and gives us this promise that we all need today. Cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Yes, if we cast our burden upon the Lord, he shall sustain us. Peter gives us very clearly, cast your cares upon the Lord, for he careth for you. In Matthew it says, he cares for the lilies of the field and the birds of the air. How much more he as a good father, when we cast our burdens, cast our cares, cast our frustrations, bring come to him and tell him of our crisis. Yes, he will hear us. Yes, he will provide for us strength. 
He will make a way for us, but we have to come to God today. Matthew Henry, in his commentary, states it this way. The psalmist encourages himself and all good people to commit themselves to God with confidence in him and in his providence, his power, and mercy. Not relying in our own wisdom, strength, and goodness. Lord, I will still live by faith in you. Matthew continued. He says, whoever you are and who are burdened and whatever the burden is, cast your care, your worry, your anxiety, your frustration upon the Lord. Peter says, cast your care upon the Lord for he cares for you. Each one of us God cares for. We are his children. He is our father. We go to him in prayer and we ask. The Bible says he will answer us. He will provide for us. Our burdens will weigh heavy upon our hearts and our minds. To give our burdens to God is to rest on his providence and his promises. And if we do so, it is promised that God will sustain us. He has not promised to free us immediately from the troubles and the struggles and the frustration which are causing us to be anxious and fearful. But he will provide that we are not tempted beyond what we are able to resist. For God will make a way of escape for each one of us. He will provide the grace and the strength for us to go through what we are going through. But in the end, he will make a way for us. He will not allow the righteous to be moved or to be shaken by troubles as may, give, may cause them to give up on their love, on their relationship, on their duty to God or their assurance in him. God will not allow us to be moved or to be shaken. He will cause us. He will plant us deep in him. And we can stand upon Christ who is the solid rock. Before we focus on our many problems, the hymn writer says, Count your blessings. Name them one by one. And it will surprise each one of us the many things God has done. For us. Let us focus on God instead of our crisis and our frustrations, our anxieties and our worries that are bearing down on us, causing us pain and struggles. Focus on God and let God lead us through the stormy weathers of life, the boisterous waves of the sea. Let us commit ourselves to God and let God lead us. May God bless each one of us today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and remain with us now and forevermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless each one of us today. Amen and amen.